This was a requested tutorial. The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. To quickly add gears to the scene, make sure you have the Add Mesh Extra Objects add-on activated in your preferences. In top view, add a gear to the seam. In the gear options, change the number of teeth to 24 and leave the radius at 1 meter. This will help us determine the size and number of teeth for the other gears. Add a second gear with 12 teeth and change the radius to 0.5. This will be the smallest gear. We need a gear with half the radius and half the number of teeth to properly rotate along with the first gear we made. Move the smaller gear along the X and Y axis and align it with the first gear. Add a third gear with 48 teeth and change the radius to 2. This will be the largest gear. We need a gear with twice the radius and with twice the number of teeth to properly rotate along with the first gear we made. Move the larger gear along the X and Y axis and align it to the first gear. Split the viewport and open the driver's editor. Select the smallest gear and open the Properties panel with your End key. Under the Item tab, right-click on the Z Rotation field and choose Add Driver. In the Drivers Editor, select the Added Driver and use the End key to open the Properties panel. On the Drivers tab, for the expression, write negative, open parentheses, var, times, two, close parentheses. Now it must be negative so it rotates in the correct position. Change the location type to Z rotation. Select the first gear for the object. and click on Update Dependencies. When you select the first gear and rotate it around the Z-axis, both gears should move. The smallest gear should rotate twice for every one time the larger gear rotates. Select the largest gear, right-click on the Z-Rotation field, and choose Add Driver. In the Drivers Editor, select the Added Driver, on the Drivers tab, for the expression, write negative, open parentheses, var, divide by 2, close parentheses. It needs to be divided since it's twice as large as the middle gear. Change the location type to Z rotation. Select the first gear for the object and click on Update Dependencies. When you select the first gear and rotate it around the Z-axis, all three gears should move. The middle gear should rotate twice for every one time the largest gear rotate. 